in Covington, Kentucky. It happened at the start of a press conference. Okay. Senator, you're up for election in three short years. What are your thoughts on that? I'm sorry, I had a hard time hearing you. That's okay. What are your thoughts on running for re-election in 2026? What are my thoughts about what? Running for re-election in 2026. Oh, that's good. Did you hear the question, Senator? Running for re-election in 2026? Yes. All right, I'm sorry, you all. We're going to need a minute. Senator. Penny. Yep. Do you want to come with us? I'm okay, said McConnell. <laughs> okay. Somebody else have a question? Please speak up. Um, what efforts is Daniel Herman going to have to make on the campaign trail to win Kentuckians over in November? When the aide loudly repeated the question, Senator Daniel Cameron, uh, do you have a comment on Daniel Cameron? McConnell responded. Well, I think the governor's race is going to be very close. Uh, <clears throat> far and away the best candidate we could have nominated. And, uh, the state has become increasingly Republican. In fact, the governor is the only Democrat left in Frankfurt. So I'm optimistic that Daniel will be our next governor of Kentucky. Okay, I think we can do one more. Senator, what is your reaction on Trump's latest indictment? Would you support him as a nominee? It's a question about Trump. Yeah, I'm not going to comment about the presidential race. He's either on the Republican side or the Democrat side. Okay, Sorry. thank you all. Okay, thanks. Thank you. Sorry, thank you. Mm. And with that, after three questions, Senator McConnell shuffled out. This was the second time in two months that the Republican leader seemed to have trouble hearing or processing his own thoughts. In July, McConnell spaced out while talking about Senate legislation. Uh, we're on a path to finishing the NDA. Uh, this week has been good bipartisan cooperation and a string of uh, Anything else you want to say? I'm sure let's go back to your office. Mm -hmm. Do you want to say anything else to the press? Let's go back to you. A few weeks before that incident, McConnell fell and suffered a concussion. It's possible the 81-year-old is having some lingering issues related to the fall, or it could be that he's showing signs of something more permanent and debilitating. Either way, a rapid physical and cognitive decline is not unusual and some people once they reach their twilight years. After this latest incident, a McConnell spokesperson told reporters, Leader McConnell felt momentarily lightheaded and paused during his press conference. As a prudential measure, the leader will be consulting a physician prior to his next event. McConnell has another three years left on a Senate term, according to Kentucky law amended a few years ago by the Republican legislature in Kentucky. If there is a Senate vacancy, the governor retains the power to pick the interim senator, but must choose from a slate of three possibilities named by the outgoing senator's party. In other words, if McConnell left, even though the governor right now is a Democrat, McConnell would be replaced by a Republican, though it would then prompt a few months later a special election to fill the seat for the remainder of the term. Either way, seeing any person struggle is rough to see. And while all of us on this channel disagree with Senator McConnell and his party on just about every policy issue of our time, as human beings, we hope the Senator has a healthy recovery and we send him and his family our best wishes. By the way, at the White House, Fox News continues its obsession over Hunter Biden. Hunter Biden is reportedly selling art to pay for his $15,800 a month rent in Malibu. How can you guarantee that people are not going to be buying this art to gain favor with the president? The scorn from Peter Ducey's colleagues is building. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster.
Thanks for joining us.